Mm. These pencils are so boring. And I have so many that are so boring. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> I wish I had a better pencil. These are so boring to look at and even to write with. <sighs> yeah, I got these awesome pencils. They're like all decorated. It's so fun to write in. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So for the first DIY we are doing it is these decorated pencils. What I used is washi tape. You will be needing washi tape. Washi tape and any pencil any kind of pencil that you want to decorate usually i recommend like the kind of regular orange kind of pencil. so what you want to do you want to <clears throat> so you can make patterns or just can make a one plain color or patterns so i'm just going to show you how to make a regular pencil so what you want to do you want to cut tape you want to get a long piece of tape so I'm going to be doing this watermelon design so you want to take all you want to take a long piece and make sure it fits along your pencil like that and just put it along the pencil that and then at the end you will cut it so if your tape isn't thick enough you'll have another orange side but so you will get you will cut another piece so tightly wrap it tightly wrap it see so one half is covered now with the tape but the other half isn't so you want to do the same thing again see after once you've covered both sides <clears throat> your pencil will complete will be completely covered like that now if you want to make a pattern one just cover the pencil the same just cover your pencil so you can keep the pencil this way with just one design or get another piece of tape that is smaller than that if you don't have any tapes that are smaller just trim it with scissors now so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take i am going to use this color this thin pink polka dot tape so you want to take it and put it starting from the top starting from the top of the pencil you stick it like that and start spiraling it down the pencil so what it's gonna do it's gonna look like that and start spiraling just like that so you want to try to keep it even same spacings so just like that and you spiral down till you get so sometimes it could go a little bit offhand but just try to keep it with the same spacing so that it looks much neater. And just spiral it. Oh, <laughs> that was weird. And just like that, once you get to the bottom, cut your tape and voila, your decorated pencil. Do do. And you can make plenty more with all kinds of tape. All kinds of tape. Like a lot of different kinds. So now for the next thing, you will be needing a pencil case, a hot glue gun, paint color of your choice, a thin paintbrush, and the glue that comes with the hot glue gun. First, first thing you have to do is set up your hot glue gun. Now, once your hot glue gun is ready, careful not to burn yourself, 
you can either do a design or write your name on your pen's case. Choose any surface you want. Make sure it is pretty flat. So I'm going to be doing a design up here, up at the top. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be making these kind of swirls. So just by squeezing out, starting from somewhere, squeeze it out. And See, that's the first swirl. If you can see, it is clear right now, but it's going to be thicker, a thicker white. And after you're going to paint it with your paint. So I'll just speed this up. So now, once you've drawn your pattern, you will have to wait for it to dry. So now, the glue on my pencil case is pretty dry, so I've set up my paints. I'm going to be using pink and blue, so you want to take your paintbrush, I'm using a thin one because my details are really thin, and just start painting. So, I have finished painting the pencil case. This is how it looks like. I All I did was paint the swirls with neon pink paint and then the tips of the swirl. For the next DIY, you will be needing a notebook that you would want to decorate the cover of, construction paper, a pencil, a ruler, pencil crayons, paint if you want glitter, Yes, a whole lot of stuff that you would want to decorate your notebook with. First thing you have to do is measure out the lengths of your notebook. So here it is about 10.3 centimeters. And over here it is about... 13.9 centimeters. Now, once you have that written down, you will draw it on whatever color of construction paper you will be needing. So what I am making, I am making a Unikitty on my notebook. So base color will be white. And I'll show you all the tracing things I've done after. So now I've drawn all the parts that I will be using and the rest, the other parts I will be drawing on. You can, you don't even have to make parts. You can just draw a color, just a color, glue it on and draw whatever you want. It doesn't even have to be an animal. It could be a design, whatever you want. Now, once you've cut out all your pieces that you will be using, glue on the main the main color part. This could take a little bit of time. This could be complicated. If your surface is a shiny kind of texture, then it will probably blue probably won't work, but just to secure it, you can get clear tape and tape the edges. Yeah, I'll show you how to do that. So I'm putting a little bit of glue onto the notebook and spreading it out evenly everywhere. Just like that. So if the glue won't work, then you can use tape on the edges or inside, or both. So see, so now take your paper, it on and yeah so I think this will stick if if your paper is a little bit too big you can trim it after you've glued it on so make sure there's no air bubbles in it and then let it dry and voila you've got your cover your main cover color.
whatever you will call it. I've trimmed it and now this is how it looks. Then now you want to glue on your parts and draw on the design. So I have finally finished the Unikitty notebook. It is so cute. You can make different animals, designs, so whatever you want. Yeah. So for the next thing, what you can do, you can decorate your phone case and your tablet case with washi tape or any decorational tape. See, for the phone case, it is this kind of pattern with washi tape. And on my tablet, it is this kind. If you want to secure the washi tape on it, just tape with clear tape, tape the edges with tape. Just to for the next thing is you can decorate your binder. What I do, I just took washi tape and put some at the corner. And I sealed it off with big, okay, you guys can't see that. Sealed it off with thick, with thick clear tape. 